Draper's historical Sorensen home. The owners of the Sorensen home were Martina and Peter Sorensen. This is Judy Allen. She, she gives tours at the Sorensen home, the last living pioneer home in Draper. Okay, so Judy, why? What's your connection with the Sorensons? My connection with the Sorensen home is that my friend um, was actually born in this living room. And she actually um, had this home moved from its original location to this location to have it as something that people could come and tour and see uh, how they, they, the pioneers lived. And she asked me if I would do this, and I am so happy to do this. It's hmm. a nice answer. Why do you dedicate your time to helping, to helping with the Sorensen Home? Because I love service, and I love to, the people that come here to visit. We just gave a tour to two people that were visiting from Roy, because they also had a member of their family that started in this community and they wanted to come and see this home. It's very cool. Okay, the original home was built by Adobe Brick. They made their own bricks and they made the, all the things that, that made the bricks stand up and it was built just on the ground uh, with, with wood covering over the ground. Uh, it was built in 1882. In March 2002, the home was moved down the street. The museum is now standing at 125 97 South, 900 East in Draper. Women used to wear corsets and they would tie them up and tighten them up and they would get so tight they couldn't even breathe. And so they would take a few steps and then they would be helped this couch until they were able to catch their breath and walk. All 11 members of their family had to bathe in the same tub from the father to the youngest child. When you are done with your tour, you can go to the shop with vintage candy, postcards, and more.